the water billing application is developed in Microsoft Access. When the application is opened, it asks for the user credentials. This is the main interface of the water billing application. The menus are under the add ins option. First of all, the user has to go to the maintenance menu in which he has to do some setup. Now we can have different categories of the consumers. At present, we have two types of consumer that is commercial and domestic. Every consumer has his own rate monthly rate of charging it is based on fixed rate and a connection fee we can also change the surcharge rate for the consumers who pay their bills after the due date we can add users to the system and we can also remove users similarly a user can change his password now the first thing that we do is the codes and the setups. First of all, there are subdivisions. Subdivisions are the areas in the system. The next thing is the schemes. In every subdivision, there are different water schemes. The water schemes are actually the tube wells with that are used at the sources of the water for provided to the consumers so every scheme has a code a scheme name the status which is whether it is opened or closed and the bank related to that particular scheme it is for the bills to be paid in the scheme we can also add banks to the system and every bank has a code now the next thing is to add consumers to the schemes. We have multiple consumers to a single scheme. And as I told you, a scheme is a water source, which is usually a tube well. Now schemes, consumers are added to different schemes. And when we click on the add consumer, a consumer code is automatically generated. Here is the category of this consumer, whether he is domestic, or commercial his name for the name address and connection and all other information we can also view all the consumers in a scheme we will select the subdivision since we have only one subdivision we in the drop down list we have only one option but we can have many options here and the schemes this drop down is generated from the schemes we can select any scheme and we can view the consumers in that scheme so we have 869 consumers in the Meyer scheme we have a cart lung scheme in which we have 249 consumers we can also have a search for the consumer in any scheme so here is the list in the ascending order which makes the search very easy Now, the next thing is the billing. The first thing that we do is to generate bills for a particular cycle. Now, we go to the generate bills. Uh, sorry, because uh, I am not uh, logged in as an admin. That's why this error is given. Now, let me log in as admin. And so I now log in as admin user. I will go to the bills and generate bills. Now the bills are generated from for a certain period. So over here I mentioned the period. It is actually for the three months. It is also a due date. And when I click on the generate bills, the bills will be generated. I am not generating because bills have already been generated for this uh, cycle. Now, once the bill are generated, we can view the bills. So here is an option. Now we can select any scheme. Here is the consumer code. Here's the name. Current water bill is 360. There are no installment. The areas are also 360. 
and the net payable is 720, there is no surcharge and payable after due date is also 720. Uh, so this is how the bills are generated. We, the next thing after generating the bills is to print the bills. We can print the bills for a single scheme or we can select certain consumers for example from consumer number this to consumer number this. We can also give, on, give the issue date and we can print the bills. So here is the bill printed which is given to the consumer for the payment. Now once the bill, bills are printed, the next thing after the printing is that the bills are paired in the banks and the bank sends a bank scroll. The bank scrolls are entered from this menu. We will give the scheme. Then here is the will be the, the, the consumer code and the consumer code can also be selected from here. The amount paid will be entered here and the payment date will be entered here. So this is how the bank scrolls are entered. Now we can also view uh, the bill cycles. These are the bill cycles for which the bills are already generated. We have a bill generated for this cycle. Cycle number one is from 1st April 2010 to 30th June 2010 and the the cycle is moved. When we complete the cycle, we move it so that no further entry can be made. So, so far in this system, we have about 46 build cycles in which 45 are moved and the current one is 46, which is not moved. This is the current build cycle. Now, when the billing entry is completed, the next thing is to move the cycle. And moving the cycle means that you need to we are going to close the cycle and since it, it is giving it has a warning that make sure before moving the cycle when the cycle is moved the bills for this cycle cannot be printed and no bill payment posting can be done so i will cancel it because i am not going to move it now the next thing that we come across is the reports we have different reports we will come to the lists first so we can have a list of the schemes. Here is the list of the schemes in this particular subdivision. Then is the list of consumers, consumer list. This is the whole consumer list. Here you see, which is printed in a nice manner. We have subdivision, then a scheme, and then the consumer code. We can print it so it is nicely formatted. Now the next thing is the uh, advanced print or we can have consumer areas. Now this report shows us the areas against each consumer. We have three, we have minus 360, this is an advanced and we have this, these are the areas for each consumer. We can, we also have a scheme wise areas. So th these are for particular scheme that on the entire source of the water, what, what areas are remaining there. So we have the areas for the scheme. Then we have the scheme wise payments. And the scheme wise payment shows us the total payments against each scheme. Now the last two reports are the revenue statements which are of much importance to the user. Now you see over here we have the cycle number and these reports can be generated for each cycle. Here we have 45 cycles. We can have the subdivision statement and we can have a scheme wise statement. So if I click on the scheme wise statement, let me show you how useful is this now this is the scheme name it shows the total number of house connections the water charges accrued water charges realized connection fee and advance so we have everything about the scheme on a single line so this is the first report which is a six pages report it also gives us the 
total of the sub the next report is the subdivisional statement and in the subdivisional statement it gives an overall summary of the subdivision we have subdivision and subdivision is an actually an area we have total connections previous water charges and the last column is the cumulative area so this is all about the water billing application now this is so simple to implement that we need only two files to install or copy on our computer we have separated two files to separate the interface from the database so hope you have enjoyed this presentation thank you very much